welcome to S Thursday Night Smackdown. And we start with Dean Ambrose as his right back. And I'll go what's this. Seth Rollins is coming out. What's he doing here? Ryback is not happy with it. Last week, Seth Rollins lost to Ryback. And obviously, Seth Rollins is out for a bit of measure of revenge, I suppose. Or he's going to sit down next to the commentators and watch this match, apparently. I don't know why he's here, but but we're off anyway. Ryback against Dean Ambrose. Ryback got the win over the WWE World Heavyweight Champion last week, Seth Rollins. But this week, he's going to take on Seth Rollins' former Shield member, Dean Ambrose. And Dean Ambrose is trying to just punch his way to victory on that one. Keep right back down that's what you got to do is keep him down utilize the fact that he can't use his power if he's on the ground otherwise you get into this problem here where the power becomes the main aspect of the match and Dean Ambrose no offense to him can't keep up with the power game of Ryback he's managed to counter that though can he's got right back up at Ryback Gets out of it and well drills Dean Ambrose down into the ground. Will Seth Rollins become a factor in this match though? Ryback is going to be keeping an eye on him, I think. And he's just kicking his way here and punching, keeping Dean Ambrose down, stopping him from getting that bit of pace into the match. A good counter. By Dean Ambrose. Will the match start picking up pace a bit? At the moment, no, because Dean Ambrose backs those punches to the face. And now just working on the head of Ryback. Trying to weaken it and get ready for that dirty deed to finish the match. He's allowed Ryback back up to his feet. I wouldn't get into the punching game with Ryback. I think Ryback will win it. And a bulldog. Even less for his Again, working on the head of Ryback and keeping him down. Oh, stiff kick. He's going for the suplex. No, Ryback counts into the net breaker. My God, what a move. He's going for the pin. Will this be enough? No. Dean Ambrose kicks out. Right back going. For a bit of, oh, I thought it was submission, but he's opened those elbows up onto the head of Dean Ambrose. And again, here comes Dean Ambrose with a shoulder barge, flooring right back. And a stiff punch right on the jaw of Dean Ambrose is going to stop the momentum into the turnbuckle. Oh, right back's being distracted now. Seth Rollins has got his attention. What is going on here? Ry Ryback is getting in the face of Rollins. And it's Dean Ambrose taking advantage of the distraction. Well, Seth Rollins looks happy with what's happened. And now he's just walking off. Ryback is down. Dean Ambrose taking advantage of that situation. And a DDT on the outside. This could be the beginning of the end now. No, right back. Trying to rally back now. Putting on the single Boston leg crab. Single legged Boston crab. But Dean Ambrose managing to counter. And he gets back in the ring at the count of five. And right back in at the count of six. What's Dean Ambrose planning here? He couldn't do anything, so he let go of the hold before Ryback could counter it. Ryback now trying, but Dean Ambrose counters it. Yeah, what? He's got Ryback tied up, legs distorted, pulling back on the head. Ryback might have to tap. No, not at the moment. He hangs on. 
punishment inflicted here. He's struggling to get up though. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Whoa, a direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. Counter after counter at the moment. Cole, what's he and a done? German suplex. No. Right back getting out the He's book of Lesnar here. Right back feels he's in control, obviously. Oh, what, what's he got, got planned here? Is it a power bomb? He's got him up, and he's down. And he's held on, and he's going to hit a second one. He's held on for a third. Can he hit the three? Yes, he can. The triple power bomb. Dean Ambrose looks down and almost out, really. But no, he's playing, playing possum, and he's coming back. Oh, not, not for long. Ryback's back again. And going for the net break of it. Countered by Ryback. DDT. Huge DDT by Dean Ambrose. And Dean Ambrose just raking the face into the ground even more. And throws right back into the corner. But right back, throwing the elbow back, just trying to get a bit of distance between each other. And Dean Ambrose with the power bomb and into the pin. Is that enough? One, two, three, it's it. Dean Ambrose wins with the power bomb and covers, just rolls into the cover. Look at that. Dean Ambrose has beaten Ryback. Well, I think you can give an assist to Seth Rollins, though, who assisted with the distraction, which gave Dean Ambrose a chance to get in the upper hand. And Dean Ambrose took advantage and comes out of this match the winner. And now we have some Divas action for you. The Divas champion, Nikki Bella, goes up against a member of Team Bad, Tamina. Oh, wait a minute. What, what's happened here? Tamina has just clocked Nikki Bella on the way to the ring. That, what, what's going on? Tamina carrying on the attack now. Shot to the back to Nikki Bella. And throws her into the ring. And just whacks her in her head. Well, and now the ref will get it started. What a cheap shot by Shamir. And what a super kick. This one could be over as easy as that. One. Two. No. Nikki Bella fights on. What is going on with these two divas at the moment? Nikki Bella has been attacked before the bell even rung and Tamina is now going to look to try and put even more punishment on her on the outside but no Nikki Bella fighting back with that jawbreaker but not for long Tamina gets back control and throws her into the ring post but no here comes Nikki big shots to the gut and now with the forearm and throws Tamina down onto the concrete floor you see the anger coming out of Nikki there as after that attack. She's mad about it. Tamina getting back into the ring. Nikki Bella trying to put some damage straight onto Tamina with that face buster. And could this one be over? One. No. Tamina kicks out at one. Nikki Bella knows she needs to finish this early after that brutal attack. She's on a roll now. Snap suplex. Snap suplex. 
There's never been a more intimidating force in the Divas division than Tamina. She's laid out Diva after Diva. Sorry, and Tamina, it's the outside now. Yeah, Tamina's leveled every Diva. Oh, shot by Tamina. She was a manager, bodyguard, and, Tamina and another super job. kick. Nikki is Jesus. getting destroyed. So. Two. N no. Nikki kicks out. How? How has Nikki kicked out of that? She's had a brutal attack and she's now had two super kicks on her. How is Nikki still fighting in this? Tamina now coming back. Every time Nikki starts trying to build any sort of momentum, Tamina just blasts her back. Oh, where's Tamina going now? She's going out the top. Is this going to be the snooker splash? It is. And this one has got to be over now. One, two, three. Tamina has destroyed the Divas champion. We'll have a look at the highlights, but it doesn't show. I mean, whacked right across the head. But this does not show the attack before the match. Look at this shot here. Right into the ring post, head first. Nikki Bella tried getting back into it, throwing to me into the outside. But that forearm pretty much ended any momentum she had. Slammed Nikki down and went up to the top rope. And set up for the snooker splash. What a horrible, horrible way of winning a match. Attacking your opponent before the bell. This one's over. And here's your winner. Hey, she was the better diva of the two tonight. It's that simple. And that's it for this week of SmackDown. But now I can confirm that an Extreme Rules pay-per-view, Seth Rollins will put his WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line to Ryback in an Extreme Rules match. But as for tonight, next up we have The New Day facing The Usos in an elimination tag team match. And the match gets underway then, and the New Day need, need, need a win. 
today really they're the tag team champions yet they're not they're not winning like tag team champions they've lost every match in the last week or so we go back to Raw where they lost lost to the Usos to be fair controversial fashion with Coffee Kingston having his hand on the rope but then we go forward to last week's Smackdown where the Usos again beat New Day and then on this past Raw New Day lost to the Wyatt family I mean they need a win they they need it just to get back onto a winning way because they're going into extreme rules they don't know who their opponents are going to be yet at the moment the Usos and Wyatt family both hold a candle to it because they both beat in the tag team champions if the New Day can't get to win you can't see them defending their titles at extreme rules they're going to lose the titles to Wyatt family or the Usos because they're the two teams that are in form and actually beating the New Day week in, week out. The New Day must be pulling their hair out over it. I, I know I would be. How much can you actually go through before finally going, oh, we got the win? If they don't win today, well, they're going to have to rethink some things and come back stronger than ever, I think, in a different way. Talked about Xavier Woods' variety of skills and something that impresses me just as much as his strikes and acrobatics is his knowledge of different holds and submissions. Woods is highly educated in the art of submission wrestling, counters, and reversals. Well, Cole, Xavier Woods can put a beating on an opponent in so many different ways. Like the song says, Funk is on a roll, and Xavier Woods is rolling straight to the top of WWE. Oh, out of nowhere! And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston. And now he's back out on the apron. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. And there's the tag. Knocked the breath out with a crushing kick to the gut. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to breathe for a week. Oh man, you want to talk offense? Jimmy Uso's bringing the thunder of Samoa with him into battle. Super kicks, dives out onto the floor. A full Nelson bomb and a long list of moves from the top rope that makes Jimmy Uso an amazing superstar to watch. Wow. This match is just going back and forth, back and forth. It's it's not very exciting at the moment. I don't I don't know. I just, just needs to pick up. It's an elimination tag. It's going to go down to two on one at some point. But come on. I mean, that's a good sit down scoop slam. But there's just no pace to the match. So it needs to quicken up. Coffee kicking out at two. Knee straight into the back. And he's going on up. What's he planning here? The elbow. I think that's the elbow. Is that going to be enough to finish Coffee off? Super kick. Here we go. Finally, something's happening. One. Two. No. Coffee Kingston kicks out. Xavier Woods is getting destroyed out the, outside the ring. This match is broken down. But the Usos are all over the new day at the moment. But then again, back in the ring. And he fails to connect with anything. Coffee was getting back into it until now. And a Samoan drop. Not the place you want to be. Not ever. Never. Into corner. The end may be near. What what's what's he got planned here? Big punch oh. What what's he doing? He's got the hooked. Oh no. No, don't do it. Not suplex. No. Oh, to the outside. Oh my god. That that is just huge. What what was that? A suplex to the outside onto the concrete floor. How is Coffee Kingston still able to walk after that? 
Uso's now just concentrating on the back of Coffee, and I don't blame him after that suplex to the outside. Well, it, wasn't, it was a superplex. Hey, that's, that's some height to come down from. But now Coffee trying to fight back. Trying to choke out the Usos. And he'll finally manage to get the tag out. But his, Xavier Woods isn't as fresh as he'd like to be. He's been taken out by the other Uso. Being run into steel steps and whatever. Not over yet. Xavier Woods has to do a lot more than that if he's going to get the win. Good arm drag. Shot. Shot to the stomach and then an uppercut. But it hasn't floored Xavier. And a Russian leg sweep. The Osos look in total control. Xavier Woods is down. New Day's momentum is just not with them at the moment. They're struggling. Oh, what a clothesline by Xavier. Finally, a bit of momentum for the New Day. Xavier Woods going up to the top. A punch and a splash. That was almost a copy of the Uso splash from the corner. Xavier Woods able to pull him into cover. Will it be enough? No. It's counted into another cover. Two. No. Counted again into another cover. Two. And the Uso's now countering it. Something's got to give. Xavier Woods countering again. No. Kicks out. On a terrific reversal by Jimmy Uso. Uh-oh. And this heartless attack continues. Oh man, this is getting tough to watch. Who's going to be the first eliminated in this matchup? I thought Xavier was going to get the tag in then, but he's hasn't. He's coming back. Oh, what's Xavier Woods doing here? A fantastic neck breaker move there. A spinning neck breaker. But now he tags out to Coffee. Who's had a bit of time to rest up on the outside. And pulled him into the Hurricanrana. Big uppercut by the Usos. Oh, is, is this going to be the Ricky? No, it's not the Ricky Strike. It's Coffee counts it into a DDT of his own. And a boom drop. Will that be enough? Coffee's pandering to the crowd. He should have gone for the cover. He could have got an elimination right there. Oh, this isn't good. Coffee King's got something planned in his own. What is? It's not. Oh my God! He's returning the favour with a suplex to the outside. My God! That's gonna even the odds. You know the crowd chanting, "This is awesome!" I've got to agree. It, those kind of things are absolutely fantastically awesome. Off the ring, this match is broken down completely. A counter and a DDT, and he gets back in the ring at count of six. But can Coffee Kingston answer the count? Tagging out. And he's back in the ring now. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything. 
anything else. Uh oh. He's calling for it. And bang! The backside into the face. Coffee Kingston can't have much more. He's suffered a superplex and he's given a superplex. Even by giving the superplex to the outside, he's going to get hurt from it as well. Coffee Kingston going for the pin. One, two, no. Kicks out. We're still two on two at the moment. Coffee Kingston looking to get that tag and he does. And into the corner. But the Usos come out fighting and throw Xavier into the corner. He makes the tag. So got planned here. A scoop slam. And now it looks like it's going to be the Uso splash. And it is. This one could be over for Xavier. One. Two. Three it is. It's two on one. The New Day are in trouble. Coffee Kingston is in trouble. And the Usos trying to finish it quickly with another splash. And this one could be all over. One, two, three. Nothing Xavier could, Woods could do. He's already eliminated. He shouldn't even be in the ring. But the Usos have beaten the New Day again. And take a look at this. The elbow and also a shoulder. Well, almost a spear type move through the ring ropes. And then the super kick. But somehow that wasn't the end. He didn't keep Coffee down with that. I mean, check out this. This is the first superplex to the outside. From the top rope. Gets him up with more height and bang. Down he went. He's lucky he didn't go through the table. Uh, I'm not sure why this is apparently a, a replay. But got kicked away. Went for the pin and it, it wasn't enough. Well, that's a strange highlight to choose there, WWE, but this was the end. They'd just done it to Xavier, and now up and splash down, and that was it. The one, two, three followed, and the Usos beat the New Day again. And boy, do we have a surprise for you today. Stone Cold and Bam Bam Bigelow are back and go one on one here, right now. Approaching the ring from Asbury Park, New Jersey, weighing in at 400 pounds, Bam Bam Bigelow. 
Here comes one of the baddest men to ever grace the squared circle. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Oh, man, just the sight of him is intimidating, Cole. This crowd despises him, and I can assure you that feeling is mutual. Well, he's worked very hard to get them to not like him. What a match this is going to be. A match from way beyond in the past. Bam Bam Bigelow. Stone Cold Steve Austin. One bigger star than the other, probably. Already Stone Cold trying to finish it early. But I mean, Stone Cold is Stone Cold. Everyone loves him. He's... Battles with Vincent Mann, his WrestleManias, is The Rock, Stone, Stone Cold against Shawn Michaels when he won his first championship. Well, everyone knows the history of him. But I know the simple fact is, all people are happy about is the fact that him and... Bam Bam Bigelow are back in this WWE universe where the past, the present and the future all go head to head and it's nothing more than this match will show you from pretty much the past. These two will want to get back to that high tier and get back to winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at some point. Oh, drop kick from Bam Bam Bigelow, really? He looks like he's lost some weight. Stone Cold just fighting back, though. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Bam Bam Bigelow seems helpless. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Stone Cold is opening up a can of whoop ass tonight. He's hit that Luthor's prez and he's hoping to win it right there, but he can't yet. He can't believe it. He thought he had the win already. I have to do a bit more than that. And a Russian leg sweep. And Bam Bam Bigelow countering into the fireman carry. And Stone Cold countering as well. And a knee to the face. Keeping Bam Bam down. And this match is going to break down to the outside now. It is completely dangerous when you get out here. Looking to put Bam Bam asleep on the outside and win by count out by the looks of it is Stone Cold. Oh, jawbreaker. That hard head to the jaw of Stone Cold. Bam Bam got him up and just throwing him down onto the concrete floor. That padding is thin out there. It will cause damage. Let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. That WrestleMania 11 match really Stone Cold now wanting to put Bam Bam through the table, obviously. Trying to bring back the Attitude Era here to the present. Stone Cold countering and the German suplex. Huge punch to the head. I think that one made the entire building shake. Just think of what that will do to your body. No thanks. I'm retired. Inside the ring now. Finally. Let's get this done inside the ring. 
Well, Stone Cold planning here. Throws Bam Bam Bigelow out to the outside, but he hangs on. And Bam Bam back in this fight now. And the power bomb. Stone Cold could be in trouble. No, he's backdropped Bam Bam Bigelow. Stone Cold punching Bam Bam. Sounds so stupid to say Bam Bam. I think, keep thinking of the Flintstones every time I say his name. A DDT. And the Luthres Prez. We know what happens sometimes after this, but no, he's going for the cover. One, two, three. No! He kicks out. How did he kick out? He might be one big move away. And I think Stone Cold has got his eyes set. And he pulls the trigger. Stone Cold. Stunner. But what? Bam Bam's up. How has Bam Bam just got straight back up after that stunner? That's not human. Bam Bam is just getting up every time. Stone Cold finally the knife keeping him down with the elbow to the face now. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. You have to possess a different type of focus. What a opponent brilliant like move there, the million dollar someone. dream. Followed by driving Bam Bam into the canvas. Stone Cold struggling to get back up. Both of these competitors have so much resolve. It's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. All shoulder off the ring post. Oh! Pulled him into the power bomb. Well, sit down, power bomb. Uh oh. Stone Cold's got it ready. He's looking for it. And he hits it. The stunner. That one's now got to be over. A second stunner. And that's one, two, three. And it's over. Stone Cold returns to Thursday Night Smackdown in a huge way. And when I say a huge way, I mean huge way because it's a huge win over Bam Bam Bigelow. Austin was hitting him with everything he could. The Luthor's Prez. He hit a stunner, but he just he just stood back up after it. I don't know how he did it. It was inhuman of him. I think these highlights show a little bit of the physicality between the two. But I don't get some of these replays, to be honest. And that was a huge DDT. And then he hit the Luthres press again. And then he went and finished it. With the stunner. Welcome back, Stone Cold. And he's back in a big way. And he starts off with a win. Welcome back, Stone Cold. So John Cena is having another open challenge. And he's putting it as a fool's count anywhere again. But who is going to answer this challenge this week in San Antonio, Texas? It could be anyone. We've already seen Kevin Owens answer his challenge.
We've also seen Randy Orton answer the challenge. So who will it be this time? That Kevin Owens is pretty much the future of WE. Orton was the present. Maybe we'll get someone from the past. We've already seen Stone Cold and Bam Bam Bigelow come back. Could we get Ted DiBiase? We get Randy Savage. We could get anyone. And we're just about to find out who John Cena will be facing. Who will it be? What a surprise that is. It's a WWE World Heavyweight Champion answering the call of John Cena. I didn't think he'd have anything to prove. But I guess after that announcement earlier today that Seth Rollins has put his title on the line against Ryback. He obviously wants a bit of practice in a Fool's Count Anywhere type of match. An Extreme Rules type match. I mean, we saw him earlier tonight. He came down and interrupted in right back match against Dean Ambrose and because of that he then later found out he was facing right back in an Extreme Rules match at Extreme Rules for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship so obviously Seth Rollins feels the need to get a bit of practice in get out there have a fight and show what he can really do against someone like John Cena Having lost to Ryback last week, it's got to be playing on his mind that he's lost to the number one contender. If he can get a win tonight against John Cena, well, that will gain a hell of a lot of momentum. But at the moment, Cena throwing Rollins into those... Well, I think it was the steps he hit, not the post, but he might have bounced his head off the post after hitting the steps. Cena leading with all those kicks. John Cena throwing Seth Rollins into those steel steps again. Seth Rollins now having to fight back and a reverse Hurricanrana into almost a DDT type move. It's hard to call a Seth Rollins match with all the things that he does. He can be high flying, he can be technical. He is a well-rounded athlete. Punches and kicks to Cena into the barricade and a backbreaker 
We haven't seen much in the way of weapons yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time till one of these two pulls something out. A clothesline from Cena, and then followed up with a kick to the back. John Cena looks like he's got something planned here. No, Rollins grabs him and gets him into that. Uh, I was about to say suplex, but maybe it was a brain buster more than anything. Going for the kick, but Cena counters. Right back, again countering. Oh, a double arm suplex onto the neck of John Cena. Rollins just choking Cena out now. Shot to the arm. Wow, that's a game changer. With the type of high impact, highly Went for that kick again, but Cena again countering. Rollins then countered, and Rollins caught him into that suplex. Cena looks down and out for the first time in his open challenges. Could Seth Rollins win? No. Cena kicks out. Cena managed to beat Owens in the first open challenge. He then beat Orton. This is his third open challenge. Will he keep this undefeated streak going or will Seth Rollins manage to beat Cena in this occasion? Oh, Cena's been busted open with that one. This one could be over. Two, no. Cena is in a bad way. He hit the ground hard, face first, which has busted Cena wide open. Cena into a spinning power bomb. Cena trying to use his power, pick up Rollins and throw him down onto the ground back first. He thinks he might have done enough. One, two, no. Seth Rollins kicks out. This match continues. This match has been out of the ring a hell of a lot more than it's been in the ring. Cena goes to the cover. One, two, no. Seth Rollins kicks out. Oh, he connects with a kick this time. Right to the legs of Cena, taking him out. Two. Three. No, Cena kicks out. He keeps his open challenge alive. Rollins looking for the pedigree. Looking to end it with the pedigree. He hits the pedigree. This one could be over. One. Two. Three, it's over. Seth Rollins beat Cena in Cena's open challenge with the pedigree. What a physical match that was. Both of them countering as much as they could. Both of them hitting as hard as they could. But in the end, it's Seth Rollins who leaves the winner. Thank you for joining me here on Smackdown. We have so much more to come with Extreme Rules coming up. Seth Rollins will put his title on the line against Ryback at Extreme Rules. With plenty more matches to be announced yet. Who will be at Extreme Rules? And what titles will be on the line? And the biggest question now at Extreme Rules in a couple of weeks. Who will leave the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on Raw.